Hello everyone, just Dave here from Trucking Adventures with the Big Bad Wolf. Welcome to Deadwood. Today's adventure will take us on a long hike up the Black Hills to the 1876 Deadwood Trail System and see if we can find the home state gold mine, which is the deepest and largest gold mine ever in North America. We're also gonna talk about the history of Deadwood. And we're also going to go look around the Victorian style mansion, the Adams House. Black Hills Gold Rush began in 1874. The first arrivals was a force of 1,000 men led by George Armstrong Custer. Their mission was to investigate reports that the area contained gold. Custer's men found small amounts of gold in present-day Custer, South Dakota, and continued searching for gold in other locations in the surrounding area, but didn't find much, even though the land was in Sioux Indian Territory. Things changed, however, when some miners stumbled across some dead trees, or dead wood, in a gulch near present-day Deadwood. By 1876, miners claimed all the land around the creeks. And even though all the land was already claimed, thousands more flocked in, hoping to find a missed spot. And Deadwood was born. Almost overnight, the miners' gold camp became an old western town that rewrote its own set of rules, which was an attraction to outlaws gamblers, businessmen, prostitutes, and gunslingers, along with gold seekers. Wild Bill Hickok is probably the most famous to have ever lived in Deadwood. Wild Bill already had a reputation for bravery, sharpshooting, and gambling when he arrived in Deadwood July 2nd, 1876. Wild Bill had only lived in Deadwood for a month. He was murdered on August 2nd, 1876 in a saloon when Jack McCall shot him from behind while playing poker. When Wild Bill died, he was holding a pair of aces and eights. This became known as the dead man's hand. Wild Bill Hickok is buried in the Mount Moriah Cemetery. Calamity Jane is buried next to him. bunch of deer in the street right there there's one okay let me see if I can do this day put the leashes down so you got two right there there's one there but he's out of focus by that mailbox there's one by the house walking you can't see him either and then you got three of them over here laying down but you can't see them either The historic Adams House, a fully restored Queen Anne style mansion built in 1892. This Queen Anne style mansion is well known for its decorated stained glass windows, marble one of a kind sinks, iron stove and original furnishings. This house sat silent for more than 50 years after William Adams death in 1934. His second wife Mary Adams left everything intact, from the sheet music on the piano, books in the library, even the cookies in the cookie jar. This house was purchased by the Deadwood Historic Preservation Commission in 1992 and restored as a house museum in 2000. Adult admission is $12, kids 6 to 12 years old $5, and kids under 5 are admitted free of charge. And I've never been here before, but I assume I have to cross this bridge to gain access to the 1876 Deadwood Trail, and that's going to take us to the home state gold mine. It's gorgeous here in Deadwood, South Dakota. Perfect weather for a walk. I spent the night in this location behind the first interstate bank. And I tell you what, they have some street, steep streets here. Boy, that's a tongue twister this early. <laughs> Thank you. 
and that leads up to the cemetery where Wild Bill Hickok was laid to rest, which would be off in that direction right over there on that other hill. It's Deadwood Trail System. That's an old tractor. Off the side of the trail here. Just sitting here. It appears the trail has taken me over the town of Deadwood. Deadwood's off to that direction, and the trail continues going that way. I came from that way. So, bear with me, boy, that's a hill. <laughs> It's very peaceful up here. I love it. I miss doing this stuff. Off that way, I don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can zoom in. There's some kind of structure right between those two trees there. Let's see if you can see it on my phone. Hey, stop shaking me, you sneaky. Dogs are pulling on me while I'm doing this. Huh. There's that structure. Appears further on the video than it does in reality, but it's still pretty. It's, it's pretty far away. I'd have to guess at least five miles. And down there is the town of Deadwood. What is it guys? You see something? You see something down there? What'd you see? You see deer? I think they heard some deer. I thought I did too. Sound like some crackling going on. Too big to be a rabbit. What are you guys looking at? There's a lot of deer around here. There's some deer prints right there. Dog print right there between Buffy's front and back legs there. But those are definitely deer. But not one wabbit whack. This rock caught my eye. It uh, shines in the sun. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it sure is shining in person. I do believe the old railroad went through here as well. I found a, looked like a very old railroad tie back there coming out of the ground. I would have videoed it, but I didn't think about it. This is just so peaceful up here. I think even the kids like it. Don't you guys like this? You like this? That's a deer leg. Kids, no, 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 no. Rebel, get away from it. You don't get to eat the deer leg, you little brat. Ah, ah, ah. Don't even think about it. Pretty sad, though. Nah. Yeah, this trail goes over 100 some odd miles. I don't know exactly, but I am not doing that much hiking. No way. I. I only brought water with me. I didn't even bring a granola bar. So I think when my water gets down to the halfway mark, and this is as much as I have now. So when it gets down a little bit more, I think I'm gonna turn around. And the only dog I have that drank any water was Buffy. Oz and Rebel didn't want any. I even put water to their lips and they barely stuck their tongues out. So hopefully that'll change soon. But if not, I'm sure they'll be okay till we get back. Getting closer to that building I tried to video before. It's right there. Uh, so I'm literally maybe a half mile away from it. Nope, some people are walking down this way. 
just taking in the view and uh down below this mark i guess you can hear some traffic at least i think that's what that is kids stay back oh that's a cliff kids stay back okay that's not traffic that's the i guess is that a creek or a stream rapids right down there right about where i'm aiming the phone at the bottom of this cliff here i came from this direction and i'm still going this direction and there's that building right there okay i just ran across a couple walking their dogs up here and they said our mountain lions and they said that that is probably what got the deer is the mountain lions they said that they eat pretty well up here so i don't think i have to worry about my dogs or me uh especially since they're on a leash so well i don't think there's anything to worry about this is just gorgeous love this i need to do this more often so they said it's about one more mile to the dog park this is how some people can get lost you come to a, a fork in the road where you can either go forward but I did that and there's a chain on that gate so that is not the way to go but then this says uh, there's a trail going this way and a hiking trail that says hiking trail only so I don't know where the dog park is at this moment um, not even sure which way to go but I think I'll stick to gosh decisions decisions Look at this old rail sticking out of the ground right here. Uh oh, kids are pulling on me. Finally got the kids to drink a little water. Um, they didn't drink much. Buffy drank the most. She's still drinking the most. She drinks just about every time I ask her to. But finally, Oz and Rebel, they finally took a drink. Back in the 1800s, this was all prospected for gold. And this appears to be an old abandoned gold mine. Uh, there's a lot of that around here. I passed a few of these back the direction we came from, back this way. And there was a rail that we just passed up the hill there. And I'm right by that hole, I just happened to come across another rail right here. And that hole is just right there. These are the old mining rails from the 1800s. And we're about even with that building we saw a while back. That had to be five miles easy, goodness. It took forever to get here. Trick photography. <laughs> Coming down the trail, we happened to, onto this. And it's obviously an old structure. I couldn't tell you what was here, but it's been here for a long time. Very long time. Pretty neat. Old piece of steel there. Let's see if I can get any closer. Huh. I'd like to know what this was. This is the BNDM number two shaft. Um, apparently, this didn't run for very long. It was commissioned in, commissioned in 1924, and around uh, 1930 there was a fire, and I believe they took this out of commission, using it only for emergencies, for like ventilation and stuff. Check those headlights out. Light bulbs in there. <laughs> That's pretty clever. This is just right off the trail. I think we made it to the city dog park. Homestake Railroad Grade Trail leads city dog park. We must be very close to the Homestake Mine. 
So this is it. We finally made it. This is the Homestake Gold Mine. The Homestake Gold Mine was a deep underground gold mine 8,000 feet deep. Located here in Leeds, South Dakota. It closed in 2002. There's a little chipmunk at the foot of this tree to the left. If you see it sitting on a rock, he's just sitting there looking to the left. And I would zoom in more, but this is a phone and it doesn't do that well. You'll see him move when I walk. Yep, he's gone. I thought I'd start the video. Oz started getting really excited about whatever's in front of us. And I don't see anything, but he does, or smells something, or hears something. But they are definitely paying attention to something. Let's go see what it is. Did you lose your scent? Or your senses? Yeah, he lost interest. Whatever it was is gone. It must have been a Bigfoot. That's what it was. Had to be a Bigfoot. Thank you all for joining us on this little hike. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you like history, please subscribe. Our chipmunk. There's a chipmunk right over there. Thanks for watching, y'all.